Okay, I told you if I got a work call, I was going to take it. I had to pay for my freaking tire. And guess what? Tire's paid for. I, I do remember the things that we were discussing. I was right in the middle of saying, um, I do believe my twin is watching these. I know he is. Um, not to mention, he doesn't need a computer to watch me. He can watch me in his head. We're that connected. Um, so anyway, message went to you. It wasn't a big one. It was just, hey, your, your, your name came up three times and you know me. I listened to my signs. <laughs> there we go again, rhyming. And so just saying, hi, here's your sign. If you're looking for a sign, this is it, right? Okay, um, I'm going to, I did turn off my work line because I've now paid for my, my tire and my ring. Our items to choose from today are, again, my incredible ring. Ah, look at my cute little nails. Silver. Silver is all about cleansing, purification. And I like the little, these ones, they're just kind of like little special ones to stand out, little glitzy ones. <laughs> I did that for myself too. Do you know how long I went with the most disgusting nails? I was looking at my nails. I've always had very thin nails, which is weird because I've got incredibly thick hair, right? And you would think keratin. But anyway, um, I, I was looking at my nails. My landlord and I were out shopping. That's what we do together. We shop together. It's so funny. And uh, ooh, I watched my twin with his landlord shopping and she got all of the best things. She got incredible knives. Everything she got was amazing. Huh? Anyway, um, as I, uh, I was looking at my fingernails and I'm like, oh, my nails are cracking. Now, I had my hands in soil and we were potting stuff. This is funny. We were potting flowers. I was helping him um, fix up his dog house because he's got this incredible place that he's built. And I said, you need to make this beautiful for you. You live here. So I'm making him, forcing him. We went to Rite Aid and I got these three big pots. He paid for these three big pots, 15 bucks for three, set of three. We went to Lowe's and I spied in the clearance section all of these geraniums. Geraniums repel insects, which is great for us down at the lake, right? And they were my mom's flower. They're hardy and they're beautiful. So we got them all, we repotted them, and so we were mixing the soil. And we, had to, we got this special soil that it was like in a big brick and you add water to it and then it expands and then you gotta um, put in and other, other dirt or something. So we had it all mixed up and we're, we're ready to plot the plants. And he goes, hold on, I gotta put on my gloves. And I'm like, you're putting on gloves? And he goes, yeah, dry my hands out. And I'm like, okay. I said, I can't wear gloves. It's kind of like wearing a condom when you have sex. You can't really feel the same thing. I'm sorry, I'm not a guy, I don't know that, but I'm telling you for a girl, it doesn't feel the same. <laughs> That was a little too much information, but it felt that way to me. It was like something covering over my feelers. And my feelers are my sensory instruments, right? And so I don't wear gloves, but I've got my hands in soil a lot. And that dries your skin out. It dries your nails out. So my nails were all cracking and they were disgusting. So I wasn't allowing myself to spend the money to get a nail my nails done pedicure and manicure even though I desperately needed it done I, my, I wear flip-flops all the time we're in very dry climate and your heels get rough and I don't want to be one of those women that you see in the grocery store beautiful high heels and a great dress and these disgusting cracked heels right and that's what they were looking like so it's like no you need to do this and I kept getting from spirit you're being too frugal with your money you're acting like money's not coming back in money is coming money goes money comes but if you hold on to it like this it doesn't flow so you got to be responsible don't go I mean, I'm very frugal but come on so that was another thing that I deserved besides my freaking ring that I've been lusting for for two years all right um, now what now that's what we're gonna choose from that one we're gonna choose from my really super cool crystal bracelet I got this the other day when I was up at Idlewell the first time. This was not very expensive, but look at what I'm doing for myself. I'm not waiting for someone else to give it to me. I'm allowing myself to have things for me that actually help me because this crystal, wearing a crystal every day, is, I'll show you, this is kind of cool. I got all my crystals on my magnifying glass, right? And it's kind of like I put them in my hand and, and that was thanks to Tammy who sent me my, um, my beautiful turquoise owl and she sent me where, am I wearing one of yours today? I'm not wearing one of yours today. Um, she sent me necklaces and she sent me um, a little bag full of crystals. Where did I put it? I was just gonna lint roll the bag because it's um, it's velvet and it got lint on it and I'm, an, I'm a neat freak. 
So I won't, I won't be distracted too much like a squirrel, but I, I literally had it here, and this is all because of Tammy, so I'm saying thank you. I picked up the, uh, the crystals, and I was, because uh, it's a way of grounding, it's a way of connecting to the earth as well. But as I sat here and I rolled them, I think to myself, all right, what is a crystal that's important for me today? What's a crystal that's important for me today? I should put this one in, but it's kind of big. Um, and what I did was I had a crystal creation actually made out of this, and I had this as a, the big crystal charger, the carrier, because a clear crystal charger amplifies the properties of all the other crystals around it. So I'm talking about us as, as clear crystal chargers as well. And you think about the crystal children that are so um, imperatively, it's imperative that we care for them and we keep them safe. The, and uh, they're the ones that enhance all of the ones around them, right? They're self-charging, we are self-charging. And yet we, uh, there are people who draw energy from us. And so this is a, a beautiful clear crystal charger and your intention goes on this stone and then whatever crystals support it or go with it are amplified okay it's amplified that's the uh, energy I was speaking to a client the client that called it was amazing first of all the client that called paid for my car tire she just calls to hear just to hear herself talk or for me to listen to her let's say it that way she calls for me to listen to her but my next client that called is actually a life coach as well and when she calls, it's all about, okay, what does spirit want, you know, you know it's, about, it's about getting back in line. It's about hearing what spirit has to say. And I said to her, you know, well, I, I, I appreciate the work line. Um, it's how I earn my living. My, I prefer this, my passion are my videos. My passion is going out in nature and talking to the animals and, and talking to you. My passion are the crystals. My passion is teaching, right? Um, and so, uh, she was saying the same thing and I said when when that woman called that was very energetically draining for me It was very difficult for me. It took a lot from me Just hearing all of her negative right and she didn't really want to I, I had a hard time getting a word in edgewise because she just wanted to talk <clears throat> Which is fine. Some people just that's you know, that's the service they can cave and get whatever they want But my purpose is I'm a, I'm a teacher So I wanted to be able to be of help and so after her came in my client and I said to her, why aren't you doing your work? That's what you need to be doing. And she goes, I feel like a bit of a hypocrite because of this, that, or the other. And I said, you know what? None of us are perfect. Um, she's going to be on a lineup at the same place when Tony Robbins is there. And I said, do you think that that Italian man doesn't have a big mouth? He's got a big mouth. You seen those teeth? I got a big mouth too. I said, do you think I don't fuck up? Do you think I don't make mistakes? I, I said, I if I shut down my, my work, because I wasn't perfect, I wouldn't be working, right? But but I said, when you call, you're like, we charge each other. And that's the kind of, I, I am a self-charger, but I also, the reason that we were charging each other, as I said, all of the messages that come for you, come from me. So when you call and you're asking spirit, what is it that would be in my highest good, or what do we need to do, and spirit's giving me messages to give you, they're also messages for myself. So I am charging. <laughs> My computer just shut itself down so it didn't lose its battery. That was funny. I am charging. So sometimes we have to shut ourselves down so that we can self-charge, right? So, but I was getting a charge off of all of the messages and I said, after that call, thank you for being the next. She said, thank you so much. I feel so inspired. And she goes, you've got a way of putting things and I, I hear it in a different way. And um, I know how to now turn this around in, in my thinking and get right back on track. And I said, thank you for being the caller. To charge me I said because that was very draining and, and we, we we resonate with one another so I took some crystals off of this charger this is one of the crystal creations that I had and I kept it <laughs> I didn't want to sell it so I had it in my crystal uh, I'll show you I have a few of them like that um, I had it in here or did I take them all apart I probably should because I kept them up I can't dig down to the bottom right now but I took them apart because I want, I needed to have a crystal that was about this size. Those are the size crystals that fit into that bracelet. And I, I wasn't going to sell it anyway. I liked it. So I peeled them apart. And uh, so I'm going to ask right now, what crystal, what else is, and I'm not saying a crystal because mel metals are also of the earth and also hold energy and are very helpful. And there's a steely in this mix. I like that. There's a steely in this mix. My twin's a crystal, and I think I'm the steely. So what is the most important message? Um, I'm going to let you watch this. Ooh, it works. Okay. The one that stands out on its own. Wow. Okay. 
two stand out. Well, how far away? I'm gonna measure. How far away is this from that one? There. How far away is that one from that one? There. This is the one that stood out. So this is interesting to me because this is a man-made crystal. And I don't normally like anything. I like raw natural, but they all hold properties. This is opalite. If you guys could see, it is pretty magical. But when I look at it, it looks like moonstone, but it's opalite. So opalite is important. We're putting that out. Okay, so that's possibly actually what they're telling me I should be wearing today. So, um, and this is the other crystal that I had um, that came out yesterday that I was meant to wear. And I got to look it up. And I was supposed to do that before I brought you guys back online. So I'll have to put that to the side and I'll do that later. Baby, I know you're the one. Maybe I think it's better if you drive. Okay. Oh, and it looks really cool in here. Look at you guys. Okay, watch. The necklace that I bought for my twin holds Labradorite, and it's made with the same stuff. But it wasn't made. I didn't see. I saw them up there at, um, I wish I'd seen them, up at my spiritual shop. Sacred Soul Creations in, in Idlewild give you a hit. And uh, they have the necklaces as well. And the one that I bought for him, it, it doesn't have an interchangeable. You have to basically have Labradorite. But it was a crystal that he needed. So it was special. So that's another item we're gonna choose from. So we have that. We have my ruby ring. And when I was up in uh, Idlewild, I found this. And it's awesome because I think it's, I think it's Anubis, which is, which is a part of my twin. I am, I am Bastet. Oh, wow, the vulture just showed up. The father. Um, okay, so when you look at this, can you see Anubis? There are his arms, right? And he's holding his ankh and his, what is the other thing? He's got an ankh in one hand and something else in the other, right? And he's holding them like that. But if you look, and then he's got the symbol of the moon above him. But if you look closely, what you see is the divine masculine with two angels assisting him, one on either side. And it brought something up with my landlord, uh, and it's a necklace or, or like a, it'll hang here. I've got to find the perfect cord, leather cording to hang it because I think it's really freaking badass. Um, I got this at um, the stoplight, Rusty Treasures up in Idlewild. It's called the stoplight. I called it the Rusty Chicken. <laughs> Um, and it was, it came in per, it, when I, I brought it home the, after the first day that I visited Idlewild and it came into the conversation for my landlord. It was exactly the message he needed to hear. And I said, interesting, it brought up a message from this post that I put out and it was a picture of angel, an angel that was peeking through a door and my landlord was um, hesitating moving forward on something and he knew he was. Uh, we're all, and in the beginning of this, the first message that we put out before we got, got cut off, um, it was about um, not procrastinating, which is most of us are doing right now, and uh, it was about how we are comfortable with what we're familiar with, and how it's important that we have change. And so there was something that he was comfortable with, he was, he was, it was a sense of security at, at this workplace, or whatever this was, that, you know, he didn't want to... He knew it was needing to change, but he wasn't ready for it to change. And uh, so this came out as a confirmation of exactly, I'm trying to find the post. I have so many. Um, oh, good Lord. Seriously? Oh, Lord. Um, anyway, the message was, I, I, I wanted to read it to you, but the person was saying, I have no doubt that my angels hear me and they're there if I ever need them. And I said, your angels are there. And they won't leave you in the lurch because it's basically said there's nowhere that you can go that your angels won't find you right they can find you wherever you are and yet there is something required of us we have action steps that we're given to take and we're expected to, to take those steps so here here you are and oh i know what it was he was talking about the angels were playing um against another team and he says they were doing i don't know how to explain it i don't do sports but he was basically saying that they were keeping the other ones away 
right? They weren't going to win, but they were they weren't going to win that particular game, but they were pushing away the other ones that were trying to stop the one that should have won, um, that was going to win, right? So for me, it's kind of like a supporting role, right? What they were doing. And I said, it's kind of like the angels here. They're on either side and they are holding it back for you right now. But they're expecting you to move forward. He was wearing a shirt this exact same color, the color of the divine masculine, which is forward movement. You are required. They're holding it back. They're holding them at bay. But they're saying, go. It's kind of like Moses when he went and they opened up the Red Sea. Well, he didn't open up the Red Sea so that the Israelites could go and have a party in the center. He said, run, go. The, you know, the, the freaking Egyptians are coming after you. They had to book their way through there, right? Go. We're holding back this and so that you can do this. But please don't break. <laughs> You're required <laughs> to take action. Okay, so there's another. Um, what do we have? This, this, this. Love this song. I love this song. I start dancing every time this song comes on. Charlie Puth, love him. Let's do some incense. Get some blessing on this. Get some blessing on this mother. And it smells good. I don't know what flavor we have. I think we have Egyptian musk. We do. Okay. Pretty cool when I was just talking about Anubis. Okay. The other uh, item you're going to choose from is... Barbara gave me, um, she put a bunch of crystals down and, and in thanks for delivering her sage wands to her, she said, choose a crystal. And I closed my eyes and I spun them all around and this is the one. And I, I showed it to you guys. No, we, we did this the other day. We can't do this one. We did this on the mountain. Well, it's mukite. This is what this is. It's mukite. But we already had this one the other day. So instead of mukite, we're going to have the meaning of mukite. That's important. That came up. That's why I needed to talk about it. We're going to talk about desert rose. This will be your other item. There's actually two. Actually, you know what? I'll do it like this. Desert rose is a form of um, selenite, which is formed when um, the salt, dis uh, the water dissipates and it leaves this condensed and it forms a, a rose. So this is my lucky bamboo and these are my desert rose. And this, this is the other, this is the other item you're gonna choose from, all right? Okay, what I wanted to finish up was while you're thinking of those items, let me choose mine. What am I choosing? Clearly the ruby. Um, I already forgot what they were. What's with my mind? Why do I keep calling this Toth in my head? I gotta look up Toth because if this is Toth and not Anubis, that means something as well. Toth. Image. Not you. Toth is apparently a blonde bimbo. Wow. Really? Why are they showing me this? That's interesting. Toth is a blonde bimbo. That's a trip. Okay, let's do Toth Egyptian, shall we? Toth is an Egyptian goddess. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see you sitting there. Is it you sitting on your throne? Are you the blonde bimbo? Wow, this is Toth, a blonde bimbo. That's interesting. So I said the father. So is you, are you a cross-dresser? What's going on with this? Every argument... Every word we can't take back. Because all that's happened, we both know the way this story ends. Only for the moment. I want to change my mind, but this doesn't feel right to me. I want to raise your spirit, so I'm going to leave. This one doesn't look like Toth. This one looks like it's got the head of a bull. So Egyptian gods, let me look at the Egyptian gods. There's a reason for this, Egyptian gods. Wow, who are you? You must be Anubis, you look wicked though. 
Okay, I want to see the guy that's got a face like a... He looks more like a bull. He doesn't look like he's... But he does have the, the orb above his head. I'll let you look at it. I'm telling you, it, it, this is just a, a bad depiction. It looks like Anubis. Except for Anubis is much sexier to me. He's holding, this is Anubis, the divine masculine. This is the God of lost souls. This is the God of justice. This is a lawyer. This is the one who weighs the hearts of others. This is a judge, a bad judge, a bimbo, the bad judge. Who are you? Hathor, Toth, Hathor, Sekhmet, Bastet, Horus. Hathor, Hathor, who is Hathor? Hathor. This is Hathor, looks like a guy. Associated with Isis and with Sekhmet, the prime, prime evil goddess from whom all others were derived. She is usually depicted as a woman with the head of a cow. There we go. A pure white cow. Okay, so what is her deal? She is the mother of the sun god Ra. She is the mother. Her relationship with the sky identified her with Venus, the evening and morning star. She is the patron god of She is the patron goddess of joy, celebration, love and was associated with Aphrodite by the Greeks and Venus by the Romans. She was always from the earliest associated with women, women's health in body and in mind. In time, women came to identify Hathor in the afterlife in the same way previously all people identified with the god Os Osiris. She was immensely popular and an influential goddess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my landlord is my twin's mother. Wow, this is pretty cool. I love this. I'm choosing this. That had to come out. That was pretty freaking cool. Um, okay, so we've got this beautiful. We've got this beautiful. We've got this freaking badass. And we've got, what was the last item? The whole desert scene with the desert rose okay let's go what are the decks that we're gonna be working with we're gonna be working with energy okay always okay so because we're working with energy this is amazing so landlord it couldn't maybe it's not his mother maybe it's somebody else's mother it's a mother um this is gonna be fire the fire element okay because of of the sun because of the sun this is going to be this is going to be fire the fire elements representing the fire elements this is going to be air because of the angels this is going to be earth this is going to be water okay Angel's air, fire, ruby passion, desert rose, earth, opalite, water, okay? Please remember because I hope I can. What I wanted to finish off about the tires, that we spoke about the tires, and the fact that the tires were deflating and weren't holding air. So tires talk about confidence. And we were talking about the importance of self-love, but in the proper way, not in a stuck-up, conceited way. But it's important that we have this self-love, right? So, tires represent basically your degree of confidence or self-esteem, uh, the condition of your ego. Confidence is reflected on either how over or uninflated the tire is. So, to dream of the flat tire, and we're not talking just dream, this is symbolization. It's a lack of confidence to move forward. Remember I said yesterday it's about moving forward. You're not moving forward in some way. Why are you not confident moving forward? Bald or worn out tires symbolize feelings of powerlessness or a lack of traction. 
to attain your, de your desires and goals. So what was I supposed to do? Get new tires. I was being shown my tires are wearing out. Nails or punctures in the tires represent your thoughts and feelings of criticism that you have received. So arrows, and what I got, I have to show it to you guys. It's not sexy. I've got to show you. I want to show you my heel. I don't know if you can see it, it's black. I, a shopping cart ran over the back of my heel and immediately into my head and I posted it on Instagram. You shall bruise them in the, they shall bruise you in the heel and you shall bruise them in the head. I will put enmity between your seed and her seed. They will bruise you, they will bruise, you will bruise them in the head and they will bruise you in the heel. So clearly a head injury is much more severe than a heel injury. I have been under attack, psychic attack, I have been under attack from gossip. I have been under attack with lies and manipulation constantly. But they bruised me in the heel. It hurt. It did hurt a lot. But it's not going to kill me. It's not going to stop me from moving forward. God says, I shall put enmity between your seed and her seed. They'll bruise you in the heel. We're going to bruise them on the head. So I'm taking them out. Okay? So that message was basically nails or punctures represent your thoughts and feelings of criticism that you have received or issues that take away confidence and deflate your self-esteem so is somebody you or others de deflating your own self-esteem my my tires were slowly losing confidence right i needed to get figure out what was wrong but they weren't slowly losing confidence there was nothing wrong with my tire my tire was literally punctured because someone was careless someone else was careless and i ran over a screw I was, I was, how was I able to see that screw on that driveway? The person was doing the construction work should have swept that away. Someone was careless and uh, my tire got popped, right? But I was guided and protected by the angels. It was a slow leak. It was in there tight enough that I was able to, to get it fixed. So, um, spare tires, I'll give you all the things to, for, to do with tires. If you're wondering, because this is, this has come up for far too many people. Spare tires are talking about, um, Thoughts or feelings you have about alternative choices or backup plans. Um, it could be of also a spare tire. Is, you got a spare tire here. You need to do a little less eating, do a little bit more working out. Um, overly inflated may have, talk about being too confident, too much self-esteem, or an inflated ego. Too much enthusiasm while working towards your goals. Feeling embarrassed or humorous about your excessive enthusiasm. Like me, when I act like a goofball, it would be like me getting embarrassed because I'm being myself and I'm not. So finding someone else's overconfidence to be ridiculous. I like that. I'm like that. I think it's funny. I think if you're that fantastic, you won't have to tell me because I'm going to see it all by myself, right? So what I was worried about is I said, uh, when I went to get my tire fixed, the guy goes, how can I help you? Song right now, there's no stopping this right now. I feel so close to you right now. Um, I said, the guy says, how can I help you? And I said, well, I have a talking car. And he goes, how is that? And I said, well, my car said that I had low to higher pressure and my car, when I went to fill the tire up, it went beep beep when the tire was full enough. So I was, I was being safeguarded that I was not going to put too much into my tires. I would get a warning, right? So there's a message to that. I'm not going to put too, I, I'm, I'm, you're being, it's like balance. So my vehicle moving forward, this is me. Our vehicle is us moving forward in life. I have a sense of balance within me that stops me, remember I was saying, I was accepting, I was saying how beautiful this was, but I'm, I'm not gonna be, go tipping over the other way and being conceited. This is about self-love in the right way, in the appropriate manner, right? We should love ourselves. We should put ourselves first. We should um, give to ourselves, but there's gotta be balance, okay? That came up and that needed to be discussed. Um, this, this stone that was mukite, I said, why, why do I have mukite? I chose mukite. So mukite healing properties, and I have another mukite. It's, it's in my crystal box. It's all it's all packed still. Um, it feels good when you look at this stone. I remember I said it was like candy, and it reminded me of my of my twin. It feels good to hold, which is a fact. Um, it's very earthy. It holds the medicines of the earth. It helps ground you. That's why I needed it because spiritual people were often up here. We need to come back down to ground. It's got a very healing vibration. I mean, I'm talking about my twin as I hold this stone, right? So this is about harnessing, what the song just said, I feel so close to you right now. I am connecting with my spiritual twin. Healing vibration, adventurous, robust, mukite crystal. It's the perfect highway companion on any journey. A stable and reliable wingman. It offers the medicine of personal power and willpower, the traits we need to bolster the courage and insight for making life's big decisions. 
I'm just gonna stop at that because that's just talking about my twin and I and that's just freaking phenomenal okay the decks that we're gonna work with now remember everybody has every element in our in our we all hold all the elements right but it may show you somebody in particular it may show a situation in particular a fire situation fire element of course we've got fire elements if you want to talk about the signs Gemini Libra Aquarius I'm in a, a Gemini uh, I'm Gemini rising fire um, Aries Leo Sagittarius I'm in Aries rise uh, Aries Sun um, there's an Aries Sun I just heard okay um, Earth Capricorn Taurus and Virgo my twin is in a Virgo moon um, water Cancer Scorpio Pisces my twin is a Pisces Sun and I am a Pisces moon so those are the elements if you don't know the elements if you want to do it by that that may tell you something but I'm assigning them to the earth elements and the fire elements the water elements and the air elements air is intellect I always say lawyers um, I think about teachers anything to do with your mind anything to do with your words that's air um, making decisions right um, fire passion forward movement aggression anger confidence arrogance whatever it can go both right good and bad um, earth stable grounded stubborn arrogant again um, steady nur nurturing connected to animals and nature down to earth um, water dreamy emotional loving sensitive a crybaby um, procrastinator lost in their dream time oversensitive super sensitive um, I'm trying to think of the negative qualities in, in Pisces but I, I see so much positive in Pisces um, visionaries uh, although you know what the Aquarius are visionaries as well so that's what that is we're working with Magdalene Oracle that's the first thing that came up let me just scan with you guys in uh, for the crowd that's watching uh, for the highest good what are the messages that well the first thing that came is the healing Heal yourself, which is great. Healer, heal thyself. And then the spirit, uh, I'm, we're stopping right here. And then the spirit oracle. I love this deck. I haven't used it for a long time. I love, love, love this deck. If somebody could help me figure out how to put links on my YouTube channel, please step forward. I really need somebody that's good with stuff like that because I'm really not. I would like to be able to put links to where you guys can find these things that I use because this is Tony Carmine Salerno, the spirit oracle. I love him. And this is the Magdalene Oracle, also by Tony Carmine Salerno. Tony's coming up as a, um, this name, Tony. I like his thought process. Okay. Um, messenger. Okay. And uh, the Heal Yourself, it's a, it's a different deck. It's a new deck. And I love this deck. This is Ina, Ina Seagal, like Steven Seagal, but a female. Hmm. I'm getting a message from that as well. I got to open up blinds because the sun is actually starting to set I love this deck this is a reading card reading deck to me you read the cards because the pictures are just so incredibly beautiful and I want to show it to you again if you guys want to get this deck it's got such a beautiful presentation here's the deck it comes in a nice box and it's got a card the, the Oracle book with it I keep getting messages from this guy named Michael <laughs> first thing I thought of was Archangel Michael okay I don't mind messages from that guy so I guess we're starting with the deck because it's in my hand so we're gonna start with air element the air element thoughts words sign if you want I like that I was excited about that because I thought you know I don't want to do the zodiac signs but everybody wants to know by zodiac so I thought how can I encompass it all and make everybody happy and and yet still stand in my integrity and not compromise my values my st my integrity right that's how because we all have energy so for those embodying air energy or situations that embody air energy we choose this incredible goddess who did we say it was I've already forgotten her name but she was pretty badass Hathor <laughs> okay oh well this song we're vibing we're vibing you ran off before I could tell you we're vibing we're vibing well you should have said something hold on I 
I like shy guys, but it makes life difficult. Because they don't speak up. It's so beautiful outside right now. I wish we could do this reading outside, but it's too freaking hot. <sighs> right now I'm in a state of mind where I want to be in all the time. I love the way this deck shuffles. I want to wake up with you next to me. How nice. All right. For those who chose Hathor or the air elements, when, Father? Now. Okay. Oops. Here we go. <laughs> I love it. Steampunk bitch. That looks pretty cool. Unleash your creativity. You are the magician. You are the magician, male or female. You've got all the tools in order to move forward on your path, on your path. Like I was talking with my client, you know, we all have to do stuff for work, but your work, is your work your path? If not, why don't you make it your path? It's about unleashing the creativity that's within you. And there's so many different things. Look at that old diving helmet old school diving helmet and I love her hat I want that steampunk hat not one that tall but I, I found one and it's in Las Vegas and I want that freaking hat a motorcycle guy was wearing it and I'm like dude let me try that hat on it was sexy so and what's interesting is this is perfect because look what she's holding in her hand look what she's holding in her hand and look what Hathor is holding in her hand her tools why because look let me hold this right here this is you Okay, this is you. This is your head. You are the magician. So spirit wants you to allow your imagination to go wild. No limits. No limits because why? Because you're the freaking magician and you have all the tools, right? You've got a couple in your hand right now. You need to be inventive. You need to be um, unique. This is calling for your own special unique talents. And uh, I talked to my a client, another client of mine, a regular, about that. I love the way he talks about himself as far as his work. He's so good and proud of himself and strong. And yet in relationships, he's, it's not his strength. So it's, it's like you've got all the tools, even if you don't think you are. So why don't you take those tools? If you're so great in this, you can be great in everything. You've got the tools. Are you feeling stuck? Spirit says, get up, try something new, do something in a different way. I'm, swift, I'm shifting things, right? I'm doing energy, energy reads now instead of Zodiac or instead of not giving any direction because people kind of need maybe a little bit more direction in that in that way So I'm compromising compromise is the best word. It's the best thing to do. It really is everybody It's like a win-win and I said that to spirit. How can I do a win-win? That's how so are you needing to compromise? This is about getting up doing something trying something different meeting new people I met new people up on the mountain I'm gonna go up next weekend and go see them for their soft opening for their new store I'm asking for friends, but I'm not going to get any sitting in here. My landlord said, you know, you already went up there. You don't need to go up there again. And I'm like, okay, mom, I'm going next weekend because I met some people up there that I like and I'm, they're spiritual people and I want to reconnect with them. So I'm trying something new. So what is it that you like? What talent do you have? Are you good at gardening? I am. I've got a green thumb. I saw a nursery up there that I think my twin and I are supposed to be running. Do you have, are you good at gardening? I am, I've got a green thumb. I saw a nursery up there that I think my twin and I should be run, should run. There's a, there's another rhyme, so that's a yes. Are you able to tell, are you a storyteller? Like, storytelling is the best way for people to remember. It, in, in, since the Bible days, since before, the Indians are always to storytelling. Storytelling, it's like songs. You sing a song to learn a new, new <laughs> to learn a new language. I learned French singing a song. La plume de Montant, they on the bureau de Montancle. I sang that for the longest time, not realizing that I was saying the pen of my aunt lies on the dresser of my uncle. Message in that, yes. Um, so, whatever it is that you're good, are you good at, at websites? Are you good at, at at computer stuff? Like my client, she's like, I'm really good at at at, at uh, promoting or how? What did she say? I don't know. How she said it, and I said, I'm not good at that. I need somebody who's good at knowing how to put links on my website. I don't know how to do things like that. I'm not inclined that way. I'm gifted in other ways. So we want to work with what we're gifted at and use those tools to whip something up, something amazing. Are you a good chef? Are you a good cook? My daughter-in-law um, is a beautiful, wonderful baker. 
and she ended up starting to make, uh, what are they? Croissants? Not croissants. Muffins? I don't know what they were. I can't remember what they are, but she started them small and started bringing them to stores, and now she's got this booming business, and she can't she can't even do everything that she's asked for because she's so good at it and she loves it. And so she's making money. She's making bank doing what she loves. You're going to do better at doing something that you love than going to a job you freaking hate, right? You're going to do good at what you have. So what do you have? What is your flavor of creativity? You got the tools. You're the magician. Give yourself permission to get out there and be this steampunk goddess or god, the more creative you allow yourself to be, the more fulfilled you're gonna feel, right? Because this is your passion, it's coming from within you, it's, it, it's what you love. Love it. Okay, song right now, I thought we drew a line right through you and I. I guess it's never really over. Nope, your heart keeps going back to something or someone or some place, there's a reason. I keep going to the mountains. I keep going to the trees. My landlord said, what if Gordon calls and says, okay, I got the job in Sedona. You, you can come do this. Are you going to take it? And I said, you know, I know I love Sedona. I keep going there, but I am the happiest in trees. So pay attention to where you're drawn. It means something. Your heart is drawn somewhere. Your mind is drawn somewhere. Your dreams keep going to the same place. There's a reason. Ruby, we're doing fire element. Fire element song right now wait wait for it get up up on the dance floor I feel like busting loose uh -huh. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. I feel like, like I want to rip my clothes off. Woo! It's getting hot in here. <laughs> all right, for fire elements, for those with a fire element or situations that are fire, what you're passionate about, whatever, however the fire element exhibits itself for you or to you, or with you, or around you. Magdalene, Mother Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene. This is the, actually the, um, this is the lead card. This is what he set his deck to. The whole deck is based on Magdalene. So it's very important. Self. This is about being true to yourself. I heard self. This one's holding a baby. Is the baby your project? Is the baby your babe? This one, she's got her eyes closed and she's holding on to that babe. Is this you? Is this your inner child that you're holding on to? Is this your inner, remember I said, my client said, I'm, I'm not doing that because I, I feel like a hypocrite. But I said, how many of us are perfect? How many of us have not made a mistake? Have many of us have not done things we wish that we hadn't done? Don't allow your life to stop because of that. This is about self. Being true to yourself, loving yourself. This is about being willing to go out and make a mistake. This is about being the sacred fool. I like this. This is good for fire signs. I like this fire element. This is about creation as well. This is about allowing your dreams to come and, and bubble up from your heart. This baby that this one is nurturing, this baby could be a person. Look at the passion in my ring. This is self, this is love. What is it that you love? What is your passion? I said to her, I appreciate my website, my psychic hotline, it pays the bills. If somebody wants to come in and just talk for an hour and pay, and pay for my tire, I appreciate that spirit, thank you. I needed that to come in quickly. But my passion is this. My passion is teaching. My passion is, is the music. My passion are the animals. This is my path. That's my baby, right? That's my baby. So what is bubbling up from your soul that wishes to be created? Who is in your heart that wishes to be held? Who do you wish to be to held, hold on to? Also, someone called and they were sad because they hadn't been feeling very well. And they, they were upset because their partner was in a different state 
and they hadn't heard from them and they said you know that leaves me feeling hanging like I, I'm not even counting and I said you know you need to fill that hole you need to love yourself when you're feeling unloved like that you need to learn to be your own best friend first two strong people make a powerful team is this your babe you're within yourself is this someone that you love it's just bubbling up from your heart and it doesn't matter what is said or done or not said or done it's not gonna stop that from coming into your mind into your heart are you ready for the sequel are you ready for the latest in the garden of evil I'm gonna be the greatest in the golden cathedral I'll be praying for the faithless and if you lose hey look ma I made it is this your mom is this your mom or your dad in spirit? Hey, look, Ma, I made it. I made a mess out of things, but I picked myself back up and I figured it out. Thanks for the help. Is this your ascended master that's talking to you? There's a void that's wishing to be filled and it needs to be filled by you. Spirit wants you to find the courage and the strength to speak, to step forward, to allow yourself to create to allow your beautiful flower of life to open up your heart. Don't close your heart like a tight little bud that never wants to open. When you see the first rosebud on, on the plant, it's super exciting. You know that pretty soon it's got on a furl and it's gonna be this beautiful creation in front of you. And how sad it is when something goes wrong and you see that little bud wither and die before it even gets a chance to open. Don't allow that budding rose that's reaching for the light to be squished allow it to come out love is gonna lead you to greener pastures is the message I love this Wow I have to listen back to this because this was the one that I chose for me too right and a lot of times fear stops us from saying what we really are supposed to say and a lot of times we don't do it because we're afraid of what others will think my client called in and he's in the same situation as I am and he said, well, doesn't she have to come forward? I've made it clear. Doesn't she have to do something? And I said, yes, she does. But if you're moved by your heart to do something, if spirit guides you to do something, do it. Don't let your ego step in the way. Well, everyone's going to think I'm chasing. And I said, you know, it's all about divine timing. You could keep trying and keep trying and you're not heard. You're not heard. You're not heard. You're not heard. And then all of a sudden you're heard. So like today for me, I had no one, I had, didn't wake up this morning thinking I was gonna send my twin an email. I've sent him emails, I've never heard a response. I don't know if he gets them. I have no idea, but I was prompted to do it. I'm not gonna sit here and beat myself up and I'm not chasing him. I was guided to three times. His name came forward, his email, that means say something. So I did. If he chooses to respond, that would be beautiful. If he doesn't, I continue with my work, right? Hold on. Cause when the roof caved in and the truth came out, I just didn't know what to do. When the roof caved in. And the truth came out, didn't know what to do. So this is somebody who things fell apart and the truth came out and they didn't know how to respond and so they clammed up. What you say? That you only meant well? What you say? What you say? Was there a misunderstanding? Was something said that hurt somebody? What you say? What you say? That you only meant well? Sometimes that is the case. Sometimes somebody did only mean well and it was misunderstood. Jason Derulo, I love him. I was so wrong for so long, only trying to please myself, girl. I was caught up in her lust when I don't really want no one else. So no, I know I should have treated you better, but me and you, you were, we were meant to last forever. So let me in, let me in, give me another chance to be your man, to really be your man. Because when the roof caved in and the truth came out, I just didn't know what to do. What you say, what you say. That you only meant well? Of course you did. 
How could I live with myself knowing that I let our love go? When I do with one more chance, I just gotta let you know. I know what I did wasn't clever, but me and you were meant to be together. So let me in, let me in, give me another chance to really be your man. Cause when the roof caved in and the truth came out, I didn't know what to do. He was caught with somebody else. He was caught up in the lust with somebody else, but he realizes his heart was never there. But it hurt really bad, didn't it? So what do you say? Can we let the past go? Can we move forward? What do you have to say? I didn't, I don't want you to leave me, though you caught me cheating. Tell me, what do you say? I really need you in my life, girl, because things aren't right. Tell me what you say. I don't want you to leave me, though you caught me cheating. Tell me what you say. I really need you in my life. Things aren't right. Because when the roof caved in and the truth came out, I didn't know what to do. But when I become a star, we'll be living so large, I'll do anything for you. So what I find interesting about that was the person felt like if they become, became something so wonderful, if they could give, this, give something more than themselves, maybe what happened would be forgotten, right? It's not about stuff. It's not about you becoming a star. It's about speaking your truth. It's about coming forward and saying, I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do, but I don't wanna lose you. Somebody needs to speak their truth, right? So we did fire, we did air, we're gonna do earth. Look at me remembering. <laughs> Desert roses and the lucky bamboo sitting in a pot of love. It's money, lucky bamboo, money, money, money. Okay, heal yourself. I'm looking down at the heal yourself deck. I, I put them away. And we're all gonna get a special card from the Spirit Oracle in case you're wondering whatever happened to that. Correct for neutrality, for those who chose the desert rose. Hey! For those who chose the desert rose. Girl, you beat me at my own damn game. You push and me pull, you push and you push and me pull. I give and I give and you take. Young blood. First you want me out of your life and I'm a dead man walking now you tell me you need me it's push pull push pull what this is is a twin soul relationship because that's what it's about push pull push pull until we get to the place where we release the ego and we've done our work and then we realize that we can speak our truth and it doesn't matter where we go or what we do we're always connected it doesn't matter who you're with or what or who you're not with or what you're doing you can throw yourself in your work it doesn't matter because when you go to sleep at night you dream about me and I dream about you because I watch your life. So where your heart goes, where your mind goes, attention goes, energy goes where attention flows, right? Energy flows where attention goes. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Heal yourself. Healer, heal thyself. For those who chose the desert rose, I just heard I did. And that's, I didn't realize that I was going to pick that. Victim consciousness. I am not a victim. I am not a victim. I am not a victim. I am no longer a victim. You know what? There is, there, there is a definition of what a victim really is. Somebody that is an innocent victim of something. Or there's somebody who chooses to keep themselves in a victim consciousness. I'm a victim. What did I say? The, the, the water. Um, this, is, this is earth. But somebody is keeping themselves in that poor me. Um, and air, earth energy. So this is stubbornness right? Because this would be the negative victim, victim, or have you been the victim of someone? I feel that this message is you're in a victim consciousness. So you're thinking life does, isn't fair. Life sucks. This isn't, this shouldn't have happened to me, right? Bad things always happen to me. Nobody cares about me. I'm never enough. Wow. I'm a little black rain cloud. I'm a little black rain cloud. Why me? Why can't I do what I want to do? Well, you're losing your power because you're telling yourself that you're not capable. We are capable. You've got an inner victim that's stopping you from moving forward, or this person is, somebody does. This is us or someone in our life, our surroundings, right? Somebody is in a state of victim consciousness that isn't stopping them from moving forward. They could be judging other people. Why me? You're not nice to me. You don't deserve to have that. I should have that. It keeps you financially stuck. Why am I not making that money? Why didn't I get that job? Wow, 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 wow. 
right? You need to build your confidence, your self-worth, your courage. You need to be your own shining star. You need to be your own best friend. Stop whining about why life doesn't go your way. Get out of your comfort zone and start working on how you can grow yourself. How can you do that? You get yourself out of focusing on all of your problems. So you stop recounting the same issues over and over again. I've got clients that come that all they want to do is recount the negative over and over. And I keep saying, please stop talking about the negative. Please stop talking about the negative. Yeah, but this is going on. This is going on. This is going on. This is going on. Yeah, but you're bringing all that energy towards it. You're drawing it towards you. You're making it more. You, are, you need to stop this. You need to get out of this victim consciousness. I, I chose this, right? I chose that desert rose. So I chose a desert rose that feels like they're a victim. You're giving away your power. You need to not give away your power and you need to not get angry. Because when you get angry, you give them your power. Have you been the victim of somebody else's bullshit, somebody else's lies, manipulation? Has it been really unfair? Don't give them your power. Don't give them your anger. Don't think about, don't think about getting even. You're giving that situation your power. Create healthy boundaries. Has somebody treated you this way, then where are your boundaries? Where is it that you st need to stand up and say, I don't deserve to be treated like a doormat. I am not a doormat. I am not your fucking victim. And I'm not going to be treated as such. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to pay for you. I'm not going to stay stuck in this place that does not grow me, that does not allow me to have what it is that I deserve in my life to make you happy. I am not going to do that. I'm going to stand in my honesty, my integrity, and I'm going to have compassion and love for me as well as others. But it starts with me. So be aware if you're acting like you're a victim. You're not a victim. Ask your inner victim to show you, what do I need to change? How can I be more empowered? What do I need to think about? What do I need to focus on that makes me feel good about myself and what I can accomplish? Have I forgotten all of the tools that I possess? Have I forgotten the truth of who I am? Am I seeing myself as victorious, knowing that I have a myriad of angels around me? Am I this desert rose where everything is dried up, all the emotion is dried up, and I've been left with just this, this dried crystal? Do you see that even with everything that's happened, how beautiful you are? How unlike anyone else? Can you see? Hold on. This is a very delicate rose. It's very, very delicate. People say, don't wear it. it. This will dissolve in water. I wonder if you can see what I want. I want you to see the crystals. Where, when, you, when it gets chipped, it shines. Even when it's broken, it shines beautifully. They said, oh, be very careful because you'll break off the little, because see up front, you can see the little petals, right? But even when the petals get broken, when the petals get broken, that's when you see the shine. So it's kind of like, that's when you see your resilience. When you go through all of these challenges and you make it through the other side, then you see what you're made of. You're, you're planted in a pot of love. This is a lucky bamboo. So this may have dry, something may have dried up around you, but you are far from down for the count. You have got skills to pay the bills, I just heard. You are not anybody's victim. You don't need to stay in a place where you are not welcome, where you do not feel your best, where you do not feel like you are growing. Right back here is a cardinal. Cardinal says, know your own value. Cardinal is a proper use of pride, proper use of pride, being proud of yourself and who you are. I see a snake in front of you, a snake in your grass that's tripping you up, a snake that's between you and me. There's a snake between you and I. Ask spirit to show you that snake that's between you and I. That person is making you feel a victim. As you feed the crows, someone's tripping you up, blocking your way. Your arm is held onto that pillar. You're attached. You need to detach from what's holding you back. A lot of times it's our own thoughts. It's never too late. There's a spider. 
Hi, it's Jamie. My client, the girl that, that's in that place, her name is Jamie. And she's the one who doesn't move forward because she's been hurt in relationships before and she has a lack of self-esteem and she's afraid to be hurt. And so she shuts herself down and she comes across very cold. She doesn't show her emotions, but she loves my client. Very clear. But she won't allow herself to move forward. Her name is Jamie. And I just heard that this is Jamie. And what I'm looking at on this woman's arm is there's a black spider. Spider bit you. That black widow bit you. My other client said that she had dreams last night that she was bit by spiders. Or she, had, she was being bitten by a spider. And when she woke up, she says, she didn't tell me it was a spider. She said, I had dreams last night that I was being bit and I woke up and I had bites all over me. And I said, spider. She goes, funny that you would say that because I had a dream that I was being bitten by a spider. And I said, you were. You were bit by that black widow spider. Somebody sideswipes you, call a lawyer. That's a victim. Somebody sideswipes you, you call a lawyer. Spirit can be your lawyer. Black Widow totem. So it's not just the Black Widow. She has a Black Widow on her arm. Okay, that's what's the focus because of my client's message. And we know what a Black Widow is, but you gotta look at the Black Widow spider. She says, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. She goes, I got bit by spiders and I said Black Widow. So Black Widow, symbolic meaning. A black widow is somebody who marries men for money, kills them, takes what they have, marries them for money. They leave, they leave a, they can make you very, very sick. They made Liger very, very sick. It left um, sores all over his body because it, it caused his body to rush and throw out an antihistamine and that antihistamine made him scratch and then he started scr scratching and then, so see how everything has got a progression? So that one bite, I heard, that I took one bite of that bottom feeder and look what she did to my life. So one bite caused a chain, chain reaction. Here your body is trying to protect itself from being bit again or from, if it's throwing out antibodies. So you're trying to protect yourself. It throws out a shield of protection, but now that, that peel the shield of protection is keeping you away or keeping away from you what you want, right, Jamie? who wants love in her life, but has been bit and has been hurt, doesn't want that pain again, so doesn't allow in, comes across very cold and pushes it away. So it's your, your, your protection mechanism, and yet it's hurting you at the same time. So Black Widow, you, she looked up spirit messages for the spider, just the spider, spider itself. Why do I keep getting this? Um, Take cautious steps in regards to your health, eating habits, consuming beverages, or food from people you don't know very well. Remember I told you someone was being poisoned? I saw somebody being poisoned. They were putting poison in somebody's smoothie. I watched it. They were ingesting it every single day, and every day they were putting that in there. Um, right now, it won't be a time to let your guard down, to be more sociable or explore as far as drinking or dining. Be careful. Um, there's poisons around your home that might be exposed or in plain sight that you're not unaware of. Here comes again the poison that's being put into this person. You've been bit by a poison. Now a poisonous dart, blow dart. Remember the darts that were coming at me, the poisonous dart. I will bruise you in the heel, or they will bruise you in the heel, but I'll bruise them on the head. Those are poisonous darts. Um, Self-criticism, it could be your own self that's firing them out, it could be someone else. Has somebody done this to you? Were they, you're the victim of someone throwing poison dart, darts. Has somebody put a poison dart in your ear? They did with my twin. They put a poison dart in his ear and it kept him away from me. So right now, take caution in relationships. You don't need to be another vict a victim again, right? Black widow, danger, illness, immune, physical self, um, smoking, drinking, binge eating, multiple partners, whatever it is this Black Widow represents, you might not think it's um, what you're doing is wrong, but it, something's bringing on stress or a loss or turmoil of some sort. It could be mental pain, it could be emotional pain. You're being affected in some way by this Black Widow, whatever this Black Widow represents. They're showing me that truths that you may not be able to stomach once you figure out them. Something about a close relative or a friend, it's, it's gonna make you sick. 
betrayal, false criticism, hate, even envy. But once you once this comes to light, you need to ground yourself. Now you know who to stay away from. And that's when you say, I am no longer a victim. Spiders are maybe somebody that is somebody that you are um, interested in that is actually already spoken for. Um, spiders always speak about the mother to me as well. The mother, a mother, a mother. All right, we'll leave it at that. I don't want to go too deep. You can look into more about the... But I got Black Widow. Um, wow, found in Canada. I already know. That's the person I blocked. Black Widow found in Canada. I just saw that. Um, Twisted Love. If you have a Black Widow, it's disturbed about a relationship with a person in your real life. It could be related to Twisted Love. It could be related to independence, creativity. It could be the trickster. Uh, it could be your own mental trickster, right? Hatred, envy, destruction, domination, entrapment, feeling vulnerable, feeling restricted, feeling under attack, um, fear, vengeance, hostile anger. These are all energies of, of the Black Widow found in Canada, Europe, Asia, China, and the U.S. They're not visible from the top. You have to flip them over. The Black Widow is often mistaken for a different type of spider. The male is half the size of the female. And the poison of the female is three times more powerful than the male's. This is a vindictive bitch. That's what I just got. Vindictive biatch. And they do not allow their mate to live near them. Wow. Okay. Last one is... One, two, three. Opalite. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Every time I hear the song, I have to clap because yes, I do. It always talks about being outside for me. Um, all right, we'll do it quickly. Opalescent, as I shuffle, I'll, I'll let you know the, the, the properties of the opalescent. Very soft. Look at the, it's, this is incredible. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful it, to have it on here. I don't know if, you, if the light's gonna shine on it because I'm so far away. Um, iridescent glass resin. So it's made up of dolomite. So it is crystals, but it's just man-made. The crystal, uh, the rocks that I got when I was in Wisconsin, they're heart-shaped rocks and they're white. They're dolomite, they're everywhere. I brought them back, cost me $75 to have a box of rocks sent back to me. So they're made of dolomite and metal. And the dolomite and metal together create the opalescent appearance. So it's dolomite. So it's basically, there is natural opalite. This just isn't, I don't believe this is it. Natural opalite is made from volcanic ash. And so it's found in, in Africa. It's found in Brazil. So you can get real opalite. It's also called the Tiffany stone. Um, the glass is more popular because it's, easier to get and it's very very pretty it's clear milky comes in colors of lavender blue pink green yellow mine is the bluey green that's why i love it it's also got yellow in it too it's got all the colors in it um it's basically harnessing and increasing your own personal power burst, burst, boosting your self-esteem um sense of self-work helps you unleash your inner strength so that you can express your deeper feelings good meditation stone because it has a very soothing calming energy you can tell that by looking at it it's like this is of course water elements right so this feelings being in, helps you with your touch of your feelings it works with your crown chakra it opens up your third eye chakra um, so it helps with your intuition with your messages and science so that you're connecting it helps again because of communication stone because water is all about communication and feelings and the color blue is about communication so it's about Communicating not only with, um, I just thought, communicate with your family. Communicate with spirit as well. Um, helps you connect and receive spirit messages. Helps you understand what they're saying to you. Helps you express yourself well to them. Um, helps you interpret the messages that you get in dream time and other times. Um, it helps balance the yin and yang energy within you. Stabilizes mood swings, removes blockages, clears your energy meridians. It's a fat ass stone, man. Balance, balance, balance. The male and the female, the dark and the light. We all need balance, right? All of us. It's for healing emotions. Whatever's troubling in your heart, it helps heal. 
helps create a sense of peace. It's water. It's water. It's beautiful. It helps you um, with past life regressions. A lot of times we come in carrying the crap from the past, which doesn't, it could mean our childhood, but it also could mean ancient past, right? Past lives. Uh, helps you understand what your soul's path is and helps you integrate the energy so that you, you're able to move forward. It's a great ass stone for me. I freaking love it. And I wouldn't have chosen it because it's man-made and I didn't, decided I didn't want something that was man-made. But it's, it's made for me. <laughs> man-made for me helps your heart um it's a good stone to wear actually it's really good to wear when you go to sleep at, it's sorry hiccup if you have a hiccup on the road it's good to sleep overnight with I'll, uh, um to help you with whatever it is that you're healing in your dream time uh, and also in your business during the day i love it i love this i think i'm gonna leave this in here for a while it looks really bitching um whatever way it, it helps with injury and illness the aura, because it's a healing aura. Um, if you have issues, oh, my Sammy needs it. My Sammy, Sammy Yami, he has problems with asthma or with, with um, breathing because yeah, of his heartworms. So this works with that if you have issues with, um, with asthma. Um, shortness of breath. Helps oxygen move through your body. It looks like air, too. It looks like water and air. If there's any... Um, energetic blocks in your body it's because it's helping healing your aura it's also cleaning or clearing your aura if there's anything to do with tumors like fibroid tumors oh my my client ella she needs this stone it's a merchant stone it's it's a it's a stone of success in business it's a money maker it's a money maker material influence wealth in every in every arena i would think that everyone's going to go out and get themselves an opalite um, if you have difficulty with communication, because as I was saying with the water, the feelings and the color of blue, which is communication and truth, it's going to help you, um, as far as your business, as far as your relationships in order to say the right thing at the right time, able to move forward, helps you be, uh, for me, it was about being uh, persistent and enduring when you're feeling fatigued, when you're feeling tired. Um, you got a lot of things that are going on and you're, you're preoccupied, but you got to keep moving. It helps things kind of move forward when it comes to relationships. It's beneficial because there's a lot of changes that might be going on. So it helps the changes um, come about in a very smooth, easy manner. That's what we want. We always want, we all have change and it's difficult, but let's have it happen in the smoothest, most um, comfortable manner, right? If we got to go through changes, can you make it easy? Can you make it as smooth as possible? Right? Song right now. She don't see how perfect she is. He don't see how perfect he is. That beauty goes deeper than the surface. I figured out that with the Canyon Lake water, we've got a lot of bleach in our water, and I wash my face in the bathroom sink. I don't have a water purifier on that. I only have it in my shower, and it has literally dried my skin out like leather. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really embarrassing to me, and I said to my landlord, I know it's because of this water, and he goes, no doubt. I thought, I gotta move for just that reason alone. This is like making my skin look ancient and it's not when i go back to wisconsin it's not like this when i go to sedona it's not like this it just popped up um but that's talking about you know your own personal feelings of lack of self-worth your fears and your worries um maybe things aren't going the way you expected them to go the experiences aren't so it's all about helping changes anything that affects your romantic life your relationships uh, partnerships um changes that you may Change is always difficult, isn't it? Moving houses, changing your career, accepting a new job, getting out of a relationship, going into a relationship. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look, look, look. Can you see it? Can you see it right there? I hope you guys saw it. That vulture was coming right at me. So I said, as you're getting out of a relationship and going into a relationship, on the heels of a death comes a new beginning. So if there's a relationship that is ending, let it go. This opalite will help you move forward with it because what's coming in is even better. That's why it's going. Um, it's an energizing stone, but it's also a relaxing stone. The same. I like that. You know what makes me... Okay, I'm going to take back to my twin and I. My twin is very peaceful, and I'm very high energy. And yet, when I'm in his energy, I get very peaceful, but then we get charged up. So it's it's both. It's it's That's why it's a balancing stone. It's the yin and the yang stone. If you want to spice things up in your bedroom, it makes your libido go on fire. Ooh. I like that. If you have depression... It's, sim yeah, it's soothing for depression. depression. Um, 
It helps ground you. If you've got negative feelings, it helps you transmute them in a proper way. If you feel um, song right now, I never had much faith right now in miracles or in love. I never wanted to put my heart on the line. It sports faithfulness and devotion. Swimming in your swimming in your ocean is something spiritual. Your sex takes me to paradise. I feel like I've been locked out of heaven. So if there's an issue with that, this is going to transmute the negative feelings, right? I never had much faith in love and relationships. So it supports faithfulness and devotion and relationships. It helps you form long-lasting, strong relationships and, and romantic unions and bonds. It helps, helps you and encourages you to be more open and honest with what, what you're actually truthfully feeling. And it helps soothe your nerves when something's rubbing you the wrong way. It helps overcome your anxiety. This is a great stone. Maybe my twin needs to be wearing this and I can wear his Labradorite right brings inner peace sense of calm to every situation any situation helps you change from one emotional perspective to another helps oh my god stone's a bomb all right that's it that's it for opalite it's it's the bomb stone it's the bomb stone i have so many people writing to me right now i can't even freaking tell you they're all blowing up my page i just want to hear from one but i would prefer a voice okay correct for neutrality on all levels for those who chose the opalite and i did sexuality Woo! sacred sexuality this is bliss this is the union of the twin souls this is two souls merging and becoming one if you're not in a twin soul relationship on this physical plane you are in a twin soul relationship with your guardian angel this is speaking about sacred sexuality we were just talking about what this stone does right i feel like i've been locked out of paradise i've never had much faith in love and and miracles but this stone will help you. This stone will help you. When the great wave comes, go to the mountain, the rock. Who is your rock? This stone will help you. Because this is about long-lasting, positive, truthful, blissful, sacred energy. The strongest energy that we possess is our sexual energy. People kill over this. It's one of the most misunderstood and misused energies. People use their bodies. They use their sex. That's why this person says, I've never had much faith in love and miracles because I've been fucked over left, right, and center, right? But when you are honored, when you honor one another and you come from a true pace, place of love, sacred union is formed. Extraordinary power comes between you. This sacred bliss is vibrating. It is the greatest creative force that you can possibly have. And when you can learn to channel your sacred sexuality from your sacred, your seat of sexual energy and creativity, and you can channel that purposefully, bam, you are a master. This is the merging of two souls. This can be, as I said, you merging with your spiritual twin and spirit, or this can be the union of twin souls. Either way, it's amazing, right? This is, this is connecting with the divine because the sacred twin soul, this is a divine union. And you have a divine union with your guardian angel. My twin is my guardian angel and I am his. No matter where he is, no matter what he's doing, always. It's my twin soul. Your guardian angel in spirit, if you are not in a twin soul union on the physical, and in the physical, only 1% of the population will incarnate together. And believe me, it has not been a picnic. So if you have a soulmate relationship, be grateful for that. This is a hard path to follow, right? But this is a reflection of one with the other. You're coming face to face with the goddess and God of each other. This union, they're saying, all night I spend all night reading texts from you, going over and over what you used to say and what we used to do. It's you, babe. It's you, babe. A union is going to soon take place. You're going to experience the most profound of all loves very soon. It's going to have the most profound effect on your life. This song says, I can't write one single song about without you. I can't take a drink without you. I can't do anything without you. Everything means nothing if I can't have you. Because if you are not with your twin, you are not whole. So this is going to have a profound effect on your life in every area. And honor it because this is a sacred union. Whew, wow. 
whether it's your spiritual union or whether it is your sacred twin coming. This is a beautiful message for me. Thank you, God. Oh, my God. I'm glad I wrote to him. <laughs> whether he got it or not, he's hearing me. All right, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. Yes, we are, babe. We're going to go all the way back to the beginning, but it's going to be better. Because now we're awake and we're strong. And we're no longer a victim of each other or anyone else. We're going to start with the ruby. We have a message. For those who chose fire energy. Woo, it flew right out. Blessings. You are being showered with light. Your creativity is being stirred. Activated satellite. An endless stream of rainbow color stems from your heart. The rainbow comes after a difficult time. This is proof that you're never going to have to go through that again. The rainbow is a promise of good things after a storm. And look at these cranes. They are they're all following the light across that vast see towards that rainbow endless blessings this message is blessings blessings on your journey babe for those who chose hathor venus aphrodite the goddess of love ah! or air energy right i'm a gemini rising yes i am my my, my uh Landlord said, that looks like the phoenix rising. And I said, it damn straight does. And it came straight to me. Woo, my phoenix is rising and he's coming straight to me. Because I don't know where he is. <laughs> we all know where I am. If you would like help with a private reading, with dream analysis, with long distance Reiki healing, or ceremonial sage wand, anything else that I can help you with, my email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. This came out again. My website is www.theangelswhisper.com. My name is spelled S-H-E-R-R-I-C-O-L-U-M-B-U-S. I would be honored. I am a life coach. I am a spiritual teacher. I am a shaman. I just heard I am a wife. Yes, I am. I'm already married. I'm already in union with the love of my life. Song right now, Umbrella. Oh my God. When you need me here, with you I'll always share. When the sun shines, we'll shine together. I'll be here forever. Always be a friend. Took an oath, gonna stick it right to the end. Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we still have each other. Come under my umbrella. Come under my umbrella. I wrote to my twin soul's brother once and I said, he is my best friend and I don't love him because I need him. I need him because I love him. And I took an oath and I'm going to be here till the end. You have my heart and we'll never be worlds apart. Maybe in magazines, but you'll still be my star, baby. Because in the dark, you can't see shiny cars. And that's when you need me there with you because I always share. Because when the sun shines, we'll shine together. I told you I'll be here forever. I said, I'll always be your friend. I took an oath and I'm going to stick it out to the end. Now that it's raining more than ever, know that we'll still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. These fancy things will never come in between. You're part of my entity, here for infinity. When the war has took its part and when the world has dealt its cards, if the hand is hard, together we'll mend your heart. And when the sun shines, we'll shine together because I told you I'd be here forever. I'll always be your friend. I took an oath and I'm sticking it out to the end. You can run into my arms. It's okay. Don't be alarmed. Come to me. There's no distance in between our love. So go on and let the rain pour. I'll be all you need and more. Because when the sun shines, we'll shine together. I told you. I'll be here forever. I said I'll always be your friend. And I took an oath and I'm sticking it out till the end. Know that it's raining more than ever. Know that we'll still have each other. And you can stand under my umbrella. It's raining. It's raining, baby. Come here to me. Come to me. It's raining. You can always come here to me. You can always come here to me. Come to me. I wrote a song a long time ago. It's called Baby Come to Me. I should release it again. I put it on private for a long time. Here it is. Remembrance. Wow. Remember the light within you. Your heart is the same light as the rays of the sun and the glow of the moon. The same energy that moves the ocean tides and it also stirs inside your heart. What is it that your heart truly desires? What have you not said to someone that you would like to say? Find and express your truth. Bam. 
under my umbrella. I love this. I said to the, the guy that put in my new tires, when you get a new, if you put a new tire on, I said, where do you put the old tire? Where do you put the new tire? Wouldn't you put the new tire on the front because they get worn out faster because you're braking? He says, well, it depends on if you've got front wheel drive, all wheel drive or rear wheel drive. And I said, well, I've got front wheel drive. So doesn't it make more sense that you would put the new tire on the front? And he says, no, we put it on the back. And I said, why? And he said, because of hydroplaning. You don't want to hydroplane across your emotional water. So when you're driving on the freeway of life, you got to be able to stop on a dime. I had a dream. I had a dream years ago and I watched my twin as he rode on his bike, which is self-propelled and he was going to take a detour. And he said to me, I'm just going to go down this cul-de-sac. Wow. That's coming out. Um, that's coming out for him. So I'm putting that aside. Um, I know it's not going to last. I know it's going to be a disaster, but I'm just going to check it out and then I'll be coming back. I saw him take that detour a long time ago and it was a disaster. So the beginning of the song, I didn't show you. No clouds in my stones. Let it rain. I hydroplane in the bank. Coming down with the Dow Jones. When the clouds come, we gone. We Rockefeller. We fly higher than the weather. You know me. Anticipation, precipitation, stack chips for a rainy day. Rain Man is back with Little Miss Sunshine. Where are you at? Rain Man. My babe is my Rain Man, and I am Little Miss Sunshine. Damn. Sorry about making this personal, but damn, this is my page. And you know what? If you're in a twin soul union, you understand and you get it. And this should be confirmation and help for you. All right. I'm bringing this out because it came out and it says love, sexual energy, passions created, passions aroused, vital life force, kundalini, the sun, giver of life, strength, a gift, new infusion of energy, something beyond your control, surrender, passion. Wow. For those who chose, we did this one right if we didn't that's it we did um hathor the desert rose i don't know if we did the desert rose if we're doing them again well we're doing them again kuan yin compassion goddess of compassion mercy and love for self and others enjoy the journey of life be not afraid of its mysteries take a chance follow your heart for you're being guided by an angel if you have been wavering about proceeding with something that is dear to your heart, then this is your confirmation. If you're looking for a freaking sign, this is it. Just do it. If I didn't do the opalite, we're doing the opalite now. If we did, it's a spare. And you can take it if you want. Inspiration. Your love Light and wisdom touch the hearts and minds of many. You will be instr instrumental in helping another person change the course of their life. Miracles, inspiration, and healing result. And with that, baby, we're at a wrap. All right, I'm going to let you go. I love you. Peace out. I can't wait to hear from my babe. I know it's coming.